Hi everyone, welcome to the Take Your Time Art Project. I'm Kirsty from Creative Foundations, and thanks to Jill and Gail from the New Bit Theatre and Bentley Volunteers, today I'm going to be sharing another fun art activity with you for you to try at home. My advice for all the videos I'll be sharing with you is to watch them first and then have a go yourself afterwards. If you want to, you might want to play the video again whilst you're having a go and keep pausing it to complete each stage. There's no rush to complete these activities all in one go. You might want to take several days to complete them and that's absolutely fine because as the project name suggests, we want you to take your time and just enjoy making your art as and when you choose. So today we're going to be making something similar to this. A collage of your favourite item in your home. To start this activity I want you to find your favourite item within your home. Then think about why you like it. Is it because of its colour? Its meaning? Was it given to you by someone special? If you look at it closely, do you find something you didn't before? Afterwards, why not talk to someone about this item and tell them why it's your favourite object? Through the video, I'm then going to show you exactly how I made mine and then it's over to you to make yours. Please also remember to share some photos with us as we can't wait to see what you've created. During this activity, you're going to create a collage picture of something really special to you in your home. To do this activity, you're going to need your sketchbook, a pencil, some collage paper, glue, scissors if you have some, a fine liner pen, and an item from your home. So mine is this cardboard sunflower, which normally hangs on one of my walls. And it's really special to me because I made it with my daughter. Now we're going to start by drawing your special home object with a pencil. So again, I've sped up the video, I've made the video faster. When I drew this, I took a long time to draw it. And that's what I want you to do, to take your time drawing your home object. So as you can see, I'm drawing this object quite big so that I can fill as much of the paper as possible. Also, whilst drawing this object, I'm not drawing the little details, such as the little spikes on the brown centre of my sunflower, because these tiny details aren't needed. All that I'm focusing on is the outline of the shapes of my sunflower. Now it's time to start thinking about adding your paper to your pencil drawing to make your collage. So for mine, I'm choosing to focus on the centre of my sunflower first, which is a circle shape. To make this, I've selected a paper I liked, and now I'm going to start ripping the paper into a circle shape, trying to make it a similar size to the circle I drew on the paper. However, it doesn't need to be perfect or exactly the same size. I'm just doing it until I'm happy with the end result. Now I'm going to focus on my small petals, but this time I'm going to use scissors. If you don't have scissors, don't worry. Instead, rip the paper as I showed you before. As I've got lots of petals to make, I'm going to cut several out at the same time. And again, I'm always checking whether what I'm cutting out is a similar shape and size to what I drew on the paper to begin with. 
and then I'll start laying them out to see that I've got enough shapes. Now I'm going to focus on my bigger petals. And again, I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with my smaller petals, but I'm just going to make them slightly bigger. So the paper that I've used, as you can see, is not a sunflower colour at all. And that's absolutely fine. Because we want our pieces to be creative and as colourful as possible. Once our shapes are cut out and are a similar size to what we're looking for, we can then lay them all out to make sure that we've got enough. Finally, I'm going to focus on the two leaves of my sunflower. So to do this, I'm going to go back to ripping the paper. So as I do this, I'm just ripping the paper to a similar shape and size to the pencil drawing that I drew previously. I'm now going to do exactly the same again, just for the smaller leaf. So ripping out the shape to a similar shape and size. And I'll just keep ripping it until I'm really happy with the shape that I've created. Now we're going to glue all of those pieces down. But we have to think about it in terms of layers. So we always start with the bottom layers first and then build up the layers as we go along. As there are a lot of layers in this piece, I'm now going to skip forward a little. So here we are later on. And as you can see, there are a lot of layers that have gone into this picture. So the bottom layer was the leaves. The next layer was then the large petals. The layer on top of that was then the smaller petals. And then to finish, We'll then add the top layer, which will be the centre circle. And there you have it, your finished collage. Now if you want to, you can start to add a little bit more detail with a fine liner pen. So here, all that I'm going to do is go over some of the papers drawing in some of the shapes that I've covered up. And again, it's just the outlines of the original shapes, just to make it look a little bit more detailed. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to, I just chose to do it. And it might be something that you want to try as well. Now that we're coming to the end of my creation, it's now your turn to create your collage piece of something special within your home. Whatever you choose to create a collage of, make sure to take your time. You don't need to complete it all in one go. Just have fun doing it. I can't wait to see what you've created. So see you soon, everybody.